Hello everyone and welcome to the new tutorial of the web development series and in today's tutorial we are going to talk about the HTML forms and hyperlinks. Uh, you all are familiar with the forms. Uh, whenever we require to, to collect some information we usually create form and a form in simple word you can say uh, used to collect the user input and the user input can be can then be sent to a server for processing so let's start creating a HTML form so as you can see I have already created a file with title forms and hyperlinks so for create for the creation of a form you have to type the word form after the creation of the form, you can just simply add the field set to it. A field set is simply a border of your form. And after addition of the field set, you can add a legend to it. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to create a simple contact us form. So I'm naming it, I'm naming the legend contact us. So let's check our output. As you can see, uh, the contact us is a legend over here. and the lines which you are which is visible to you is the border is the field set of your form and now let's just move on to the input fields as you all have seen that a contact form contact us form consists of your name your phone number your email and a lot more stuff so for simple form i'm going to use the three text input fields first is your name and i'm going to use a superscript over here a superscript uh, i'm going to make this asterisk sign a superscript over your name so let's check our output so let's launch it with the open server live server sorry as you can see our uh, name and with a subscript with a superscript of asterisk sign in this way you can add the superscript to any of your text or images whenever you want to add a superscript so now let's just add some more input fields to it so i'm going to copy and paste it twice or thrice so i'm going to name the next input field to the mobile number as mobile number is also your text type so i'm not going to change your input type to anything else and third i'm going to use the email you can also add the placeholder to your input fields uh, a placeholder which you can only be understand when i show you a output so let's just add three placeholder to it and for mobile number i'm just taking an example as 98x666x and for your name i'm just take, taking the placeholder to the uh, speed only and let's check our output in the open live server so as you can see over here, that in the input fields the placeholder value is visible to the user but when we add some well when we enter some data to it it gets invisible to the user and now you can see I am adding the mobile number and you can also see that I am I am able to add the any of the alphabet because I have not restricted the text field to the mobile number only in, and let's just take an example of your email address only as as apsp at the gmail.com or any of the email you want to add so let's just add a button to our web our form so i'm just going to add the button to it so i'm going to use the button tag over here and naming the button to submit after that you can just open it up with the live server and you, you can see a submit button is now visible on your web page and in this way you can add buttons input fields and man a lot more stuff to your uh, form so now let's just um, break the line as the name mobile number and email fields are in the same line so I'm going to break them in three different lines so I'm using the line break tag that is the BR tag as I've shown in the previous video also so as you can see name mobile number and email are now in the different lines so I want to 
give some more line space i'm using one more br tag and now after adding the br tag you can see the space between the input fields so let's just launch it with the open server and live server and you can see the name mobile number and email have one more line of space in between them as you can see the input text fields are not aligned so if you want them to be aligned then you can use the nbsp which means no break space non breakable space or you can simply say a required space so now let's just open up our visual studio again and add the nbsp over here so i want the space after the name so i'm going to add the nbsp amp and percent nbsp which means no break space as the it is the required space you want to give I means the per word space the number of times you add the nbsp the number of word space it will be providing to you as you can see in the output that uh 10 to 15 word spaces between the name and the speed input is present over there and let's just copy nbsp from the above and paste it after the email so a required number of word spaces given to us so as you can see the email and the input field has the, some num some word of space in between them so now let's just move on to the hyperlinks so a hyperlink is simply a text or image within a web page it is a super active link which means when you click on it it will take you to the another page or some other websites uh, uh default by default a hyperlink is highlighted in blue in color with the underlined text you can simply understand the hyperlinks that we use to link one html page to another and if you want to add the hyperlink to your web page you can use the anchor tag the a tag so by writing the a and after writing a you can you have to write the href href means the reference the reference point so for this i'm using the another html page named the index.html and i'm using a text which named the next page so when i click over it it will take me to the my index.html web page as you can see my index.html page is open up when i click over the next page in this way you can add a hyperlink to your text but you if you want to add an hyperlink to your image because when many of you have seen when you open a website uh, hyperlink is also attached with your images so if you want to add an hyperlink to your image you can simply use the same anchor tag uh, but in between the anchor tag you have to use the image tag so now when you launch this with the open with the open with live server you can see that a image there and a hyperlink is embedded in it so when i open it with the new tab you can see my index.html page goes open so in this way you can add the hyperlink to your hd uh, with the text and your images so i hope you guys like this tutorial and hold on guys uh, tomorrow I will be sharing some exercise questions based on our recent tutorial so you have to solve them and submit it latest by Monday so till then stay safe keep practicing guys bye bye